<laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a really funny voice whenever we first start recording. So yeah. um his name is Craig. Right? His name is Craig. His name is yeah. Craig. Yeah, so Craig Craig lets us know that he started recording us. But uh yeah, this is Jack says Homestuck, and I am back with Abby again, who has more wonderful things to share with us. And this time we're gonna be talking <laughs> about Act Two. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I love I love Dave so much, and I just like oh, appreciate God. Dave more and more each time I do a read through. So I really love Act Two, even though we don't really get any Jade action. Like just Dave's introduction and his whole thing is just it's worth it. It's so good. It's so so good. I feel so privileged to be able to talk about the act that the best boy gets introduced in. Yeah. Well, okay. I think Dave and Carcat are both tied for best boy, and that is how it should be. For sure. <clears throat> so yeah, I did write a bunch of notes because I had mm-hmm. a book. I have the Act Two, Act One, Act Two book, and I yeah. brought it with me to school. And I tried to read, but it wasn't really working. But I did get like halfway or like a third of the way through Act Two, mm-hmm. and there's just like a bunch of yellow sticky notes, and I'm sure there's like weird or funny stuff on them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh on the first like big old paragraph that introduces Act Two, uh Rose's uh game facts thing. Yeah. Um she takes 124 words to basically say that she's not going to drag it out. I love Which Rose. like Rosalond. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's classic Rose. I wanted to say that's classic light players, but Mm. is Friska no. that talkative? Friska is that talkative. Like, she tries to pretend that she's not. She but just think about um, after the retcon, when they're on the meteor about to, like, go off and do their whole thing, <sighs> how Friska has this whole time where she's just, like, talking about the plans. And don't we, like, mute it out for a while while we see what, like, other people are talking about? She's just talking in the background. I don't remember. I reviewed Act 2 today. That's true. That's fair. <laughs> I read through Act 2 today because I woke up this morning after having graduated last night. Congratulations to me. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I woke up and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to go to Michael's and buy um, some Prismacolor markers. And then I was like, wait a minute. Tomorrow is the 15th. That's when the Act 2 episode is supposed to come out. I better, like, read it right now. Yeah, I know. still hadn't gone through it. I'd listened to your read throughs, but it didn't feel like I was like finished with it because yeah. I hadn't like seen the stuff. And then I read through it today, and it still didn't feel like I was done yet because I wanted to keep reading to Act Three. Yeah, because the first few acts are just like so, you know. Yeah, I mean, like the first five acts are just half of Homestuck. Yeah, and they're so filled with like bullshit and stuff. Yeah, it's like. I mean, like, it's fun, but we just learned so much about, like, the mechanics of the world, like, how they can make all this stuff. Like, in Act 2 is when we really get into, it's like, look, we can combine stuff and, like, make cool, like, pogo hammers and stuff. Um, And so there's just a lot of focus on that, which is great in its own sense. But, but yeah, like, again, we don't even get Jade. Like, we get a glimpse of her. Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, like, one of the four major characters Mm -hmm. isn't even in this act yet. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, no. Um, I remember, okay, so I have the book, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was reading through the book and I was like looking at the author's notes throughout the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Um, and by the way, if I were you, you, Jax, and uh, also listeners, uh, if I were you, I would uh, go, if you have like Google Chrome, I'm mm-hmm. bad at talking. Why am I on a podcast? Um <laughs> <laughs> If you have Google Chrome, you should get the extension, the Homestuck Companion, because mm-hmm. when you click the extension or app or whatever on the top like right corner of the browser um, and you're on Homestuck, you can use uh, the arrow keys to switch through pages and control the open chat logs. And like for the first like couple acts, it has the book notes at the bottom of the page. What? Yeah. Oh, that's it's crazy. really cool. I yeah. thought you were woke about this. I thought you were woke about cool Google Chrome extensions, but no. Have no. you even downloaded the Vriska one? 
No, I didn't know that there were Homestuck Chrome extensions. Did you know that there are Homestuck themes you can have? What? I don't know. Dude. I know. You've been sleeping on it. Apparently. I mean, I did really only get back into the Homestuck fandom, like, real big, like, freaking last December. Mm -hmm. Um, Before, I just kind of, like, quietly enjoyed it on my own. And, like, didn't really look up a whole lot of stuff about it. I'm like, haha, trolls. Oh, can't relate. Can't relate to that at all. Yeah, I just didn't have anyone who was into it. I didn't have, like, a lot (laughs) of, like, online friends or anything like that. So it was just like, this is me. (laughs) I just, like, forced every person I could to read it because I would not shut up about it. Anyway, let's talk about Act 2. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Book notes, right? Book notes. Um, there was one, and I don't remember where it is, and I don't want to, like, look for it. For sure. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, uh, Andrew talks about how, like, uh, Act 1 was supposed to, like, introduce you to, like, uh, the mechanics of Spurb and how that works, even mm-hmm. though Act 2 also does that. Um, but when it goes back in time to Dave's perspective, it also, like, introduces the time shenanigans that happen in homestuck it basically like for the first like few acts of homestuck in the words of like a bunch of people but mostly kate mitchell i think that's who i remember saying it um it like teaches you how to read homestuck it does yeah um i do have to say that it is wild that you called him andrew instead of hussy I did, didn't I? <laughs> you did. You just said, huh. yeah, well, Andrew. I'm just, and I'm, that, like, I'm just that familiar with him. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what if I'd called him Drew? <laughs> that would have been great. And that's what <laughs> that would have been the ultimate power. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, you know, Drew. But I just, I just don't have that much power, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, calling him One Andrew. One day I'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so the first couple of acts are just like, this is how to read Homestuck. This is what's going on in Homestuck. Like, it's setting the framework, like, even for Hussey, like, it's setting the framework for Hussey for what his story is going to be like. Or Andrew, Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yes, (laughs) Andrew. Yeah. Like, we're on a first name basis. Yes, yes. We know Andrew quite well. My name. Yes. Anyway, I think it's cool that uh, the time shenanigans uh, are introduced by our resident knight of time. Yeah, you know, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. That's great. Where it's like, okay, well, time's weird now, and we have to like figure yeah, out what's time's going on. Weird because Dave showed up. Because Dave. Because yeah. Dave. Oh, I found it. Oh, but yeah. I already said what it was, so never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already explained it. Um, I think it's cute that Dave found apple juice and got so excited that he had to tell John right now immediately. That's Listen, adorable. Dave is so gay for John. I will not he take really any to the contrary. He really is, and it's so sweet. I I know, like there's there's no explanation. There's no heterosexual explanation there's for the way no Dave heterosexual acts. Explanation for this. Like I know I already had episodes dedicated to this, but it's still yeah. true. <laughs> You gotta hammer the point home. Yes. With the pogo hammer. Like, I don't know how I didn't pick up on it at first. I think I was just too absorbed in, like, reading the story for what it was explicitly telling me instead of, like, actually telling me. But, man, mm-hmm. it's okay. Gotta um, figure out how to read Homestuck before you can figure out how to read the subtext. Yeah, that's true. It's already a puzzle. <laughs> uh, so, uh... When I was reading through the book itself, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you have the book, but yeah. um, on the Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff pages, it's like a full page spread of like four of those comics. And it's very brightly colored and very eye catching. Um, and I'm dumbass. So I was like reading it in broad daylight. I'm a student. I was a, I was a student coach in my first hour. Um, and I was reading this book. And the one time anybody ever came to ask me for help was when it was open to this page and I didn't realize it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when this kid was talking to me, I don't know if they saw it, but I'm sure they did. Yeah. I'm sure they did. And it's just yikes. Yeah. It has a way of getting your attention for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they just know so that you were probably. reading classy material. Oh yeah. Very classy. <laughs> Very classy. Uh, 
Er, uh, bro, where are your pants? Yeah, dude. I took them off because I was banging your mom for a minute there. And now you're banging her. He he he. Classic. Love it. Um, I will be honest. I never got super mm-hmm. into Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff. And I always like skimmed Good. past all those pages. Good. It sucks. I, I know. But some people get like real into it and like love it. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry, Dave. I mean, it's funny. It's yeah. funny and it's good. It's like, it's like, um, you got to like read some of Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. It's oh, for like sure. To like Wars. understand. It's like with Star Wars, how you have to watch Star Wars just to understand what the hell people are talking about. Yes. Yeah. You got, this is the reference. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you got to know the basics. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's see. What else did I write in here? <laughs> oh, Yeah. Sucks that um, Dave and Rose flirted. That sucks. Yeah. I mean, Star Wars reference. <laughs> <laughs> Durses, nice Star Wars reference, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it uh, sucks. I don't. I doubt Hussey knew at that point what he was doing, but. Um, hmm. But yeah, that's it's awkward to go back and read. Yeah, yeah. Also, Rose was very not helpful uh, mm. to John. Or no, well, I guess not to John's either because, but she was especially not helpful to Dave's uh, homosexual or bisexual uh, awakening. Yeah, you know? like yeah, gotta calling... let him go at his own pace. Yeah. I just, I always have the interpretation of Rose that she's just been so solidly secure in being a lesbian for so long that she's like, just get on with it. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Which isn't like an excuse or anything, but that's just, that's just how I always interpret it. Yeah. So Dave is baby. Yeah, he is. Dave is baby. God, I remember... Uh, whenever I first read it for the first time, I thought he was kind of annoying, but that went away <laughs> pretty quickly. Um, I love him so much. Dave uh, is so good. Oh, Dave is so good. It, like, reading his lines is my favorite thing, which is awful because I know that our dear friend Andrew has said that, <laughs> 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 that – most of Dave's a lot, a lot of Dave's dialogue was like based off of his real conversations in that yeah. if any character is is most like him in the way he talks it's Dave. Okay. So like any Dave Kinney out there is actually an Andrew Hussey Kinney. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like I love Dave and the way he talks and the thing he says. No Hussey, I'm not talking about you. Sorry. It's like you got to separate them. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, a lot of Dave's dialogue coming from the man himself, mm-hmm. um, Andrew, uh, <laughs> the do you remember that one conversation where in Act Two, where all of the Smuppets fell on him, and he's yeah. like, "Rose, this is bullshit." Yeah, and then she started like rhyming at him. Um, <laughs> So here's here's a uh, here's a author's note. While Dave Dave's lines were once my words verbatim, Rose's side of the conversation is heavily edited. So like, I'm curious about that situation. Yeah, what are we missing out on? Yeah, <laughs> lost lore. Yeah, <laughs> probably for the best though, considering what gets Definitely. into Homestuck. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember some of Dave's conversations in here because I just get, I just get the first four acts mixed up so much. Like even if I've gone back and read through them, I'm like, wait, did that happen in Act Two or Act Four or Act Three? Yeah, it's a mood. Yeah, it's like the the trolls aren't here yet. So is anything really real, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Dave's. Does he have his, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure he has his meteor conversation. Was it in this one or in Act 1? Um, 
Well, I mean, that's where the lines start getting blurred because some of the stuff that happened in Act 1 is in Act 2 because Dave fucked everything up. Yeah, and we have, like, repetitive conversations and stuff. Yeah. Um, where it's like, oh, you already read this. Just skip it. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, where uh, he's just like, it's like, how big is the meteor? Is it the size of fucking Jupiter? And he just goes on about that, mm-hmm. about the size of the meteor and God. like movie stereotypes so and funny. stuff. I, I love Dave so much. <laughs> Dave is so good. Yeah. Um, what I don't like is I, I can't remember if it happens in Act 2 or if it, they wait till Act 3, but I do have to rap as Dave. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he does do a little bit of rapping in this one. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a very white person. Same. Uh, <laughs> so it's like... Um, I, actually, speaking of white people and Dave, I guess, um, <laughs> I wish that... Um, that one line could have gotten retconned like about like uh where john was like talking to dave and he was like oh um th- that whole thing is bullshit uh your bro can't be cool because he's like a white guy who raps or whatever and has ventriloquist dolls uh so that sucks and yeah yeah we can I also mean, just like, if there was Hmm? If there was like like it would have been easy to like switch that out that you could like switch white guy for an adult man. Yeah. Who's a rapper. Like it would have been easy, but um you know. You can always just pretend that John has just made assumptions about Dave and yes. his whole life, and Dave has never ever bothered to correct him. Yeah. Because that seems pretty accurate. Yeah. Like, okay, if you hear about, yeah, my brother is a rapper and is also into puppet porn. Are I feel you, like. You're going to automatically think, yeah, that's some white bullshit. Yeah, I would also think that. So, yeah, and I just feel yeah, like. A SoundCloud rapper and he has a bunch of puppet porn websites. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, and he has a shitty he has shitty anime swords. Like every yeah, yeah. So like whatever your ideas of their race uh, are, like is still valid because like we just know based off what John says, and John doesn't know shit. John doesn't know anything. He doesn't. Know we anything. love him though. No, we love he, him so he much. Knows, he knows Ghostbuster lore really, really well, and he will correct anybody about it any time. But. He don't know shit about social stuff. Yeah, he knows how to f- pretend he's heterosexual by making out with, like, male posters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Also, we get the mayor in this one. That's a big thing. Yes, we do. That's a big, that's a big important thing. Yes. I stopped taking notes, like, a little way in. So, like, I, I don't know how to, like, transition to any of that stuff. That's fine. You just shout but, it. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, also, this happens. Uh, yeah. Segways are not necessary. <laughs> no. Segways are for lame mall cops. Listen, though, I'd really love to have a Segway. I would not. I would fall over so quickly. Oh, I would, but it would be a glorious few seconds. Do you think the mayor would use a Segway? Do you think he would use a little Segway? I think he would. <laughs> I think he would, too. I think he would. Like, and he'd have, like, its own sash draped over it. And, like, special mayor would, parking. I think that um, Dave would pretend not to be jealous. And Carcat would not know to pretend to not be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mayor's so great. But, yeah, so that's another, like, instance of Homestuck to where it's, like, so you think this is just like a regular narrator, a narrator, like, hey, go do that. Hey, go do that. Yeah, that's yeah. just like user input stuff because it's a fake game. But it's like, no, that's someone typing. That's a character yeah. in Homestuck typing those commands and being a little caps lock asshole about it for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine what that must have been like um, 
like as a serial reader back in the day when you could have like actually entered commands yeah like to have the to have um the the commands suddenly go away for a while and have like this weird voice to them it's like what's going on is this just like a jab on us or Mm -hmm. like i i don't know because i was never able to notice that i could never have like been like oh it's switched from uh like us narrating and making choices to there being like a narrative narrative you know yeah 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 and homesick's really great about doing stuff like that like i know this isn't an epilogue podcast or episode but like the epilogue epilogue does that really well Um, yeah i'm waiting to get to the spoiler zone because uh oh yeah yeah i haven't even like i don't think we've really like separated the spoiler zone and stuff but yeah from now on this is the spoiler zone uh oh, i'll make a note of it and like put in the thing i didn't do that for the first one yeah um i'll try wait, to be a wait, podcaster wait a minute is there anything more to talk about i think that the tab joke was funny the tab joke yes Re- the tab joke where it's like, oh, joke. so much sugar yeah. and caffeine but it actually doesn't have sugar and i don't know if it doesn't have caffeine but i think it's funny I think it's funny that he pressed tab and got tab. Yeah, I think that's hilarious. I also love the eating everything green joke and how that ended up being a really big deal. Oh, because, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Spoilers, I guess now. Yeah. No, I didn't even think about that because yeah, I forgot last time I did set it up where there was spoiler free and then spoilers and now I've just been talking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, are we in the spoiler zone now? Uh, yes, I will say right now, officially, we're in the spoiler zone. Spoilers ahead. All right, spoiler zone. Okay, so she goes into the kitchen. She sees the W's, and then she thinks, hmm, I know what would totally burn my mom if I didn't already do something with the W's is if I used all the W's as M's. (laughs) Flash forward three years, uh, pre-retcon, Rose is dying. She's meeting Roxy for the first time and looks up into Roxy's eyes and you can see her dialogue. She starts to say what, but it just says W and then she goes into her sentence on the next page. Then, not actually fast forward another, fast forward through a different set of three years after the retcon, she is meeting Roxy for the first time, and she keeps accidentally starting to say mom. Boom. What the heck? Yeah. Fucking galaxy brain. She flips it. She She flips the, she flips the W's to an M. Oh, man. What up? That's it. Man. (laughs) I would have never put that together. It, you know, it helps to have the first page you catch up on be something as traumatic as Rose dying. That's true. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that was a mess. Yeah, I also wasn't, I also was not the first person to notice this. I did notice the W thing as it happened, but then when uh, she met Roxy again in the I keep wanting to say, like, meet timeline, but that's not it. <laughs> yeah. After the retcon. <laughs> After the retcon, she meets her again uh, and then did that. And I don't remember if I just noticed that or if somebody did point it out on Tumblr and I was like, whoa, crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah. That is crazy. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Um, All right. What else is there to say in the spoiler zone? I'm um, sure there's a lot. I'm just bad at yeah no for sure and it's just again like acts one through four just all become like one giant thing to me Mm -hmm. um so it's hard to remember what happens when um what was i gonna say about the epilogue that i didn't say um something about like I'm sure, I think it was something about, like, story format or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How um, we get that trick played on us where we think it's just, like, a faceless narrator. And then oh, suddenly yeah. it's dirt. Because, yeah. Because you never have an unbiased narrator. 
Yeah. And that's just Homestuck. Like, you don't know who's narrating. Like, we get... phases of Homestuck because all of the... All of the choices were made by, like, faceless people, but, like, actual people who wanted things to happen. Yeah. And then whenever we... Whenever we get into Act 5, um... We get that, oh, the trolls are the ones who gave the stupid names to the kids at first. Oh, I didn't I didn't pay close enough attention to... Yeah, no. Can I to totally tries to input Rose's name as Flighty Broad. Um, <laughs> like, they don't show it for all of them, but they show it for Kanaya, and I feel like they show it for Terezi. Um, Did Terezi try to do Insufferable Prick? Was that, she, was that Terezi? I think so. Huh. If I'm remembering that- correctly, I just remember that, like, I know Kanaya definitely did it because that's high key gay. Mm hmm. Uh, but, and I'm pretty sure it's implied that, like, they did it for the rest. Uh huh. So. If it's Terezi, then that's really interesting because, like, later uh, in a conversation, uh, between, in that conversation between Dave, John, and Carcat, like, Carcat calls him insufferable prick. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh... That's interesting. I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, because Carcat was the one with John, and Terezi was the one with Dave. Yeah, I think it's assumed that Briska was the one with Jade? Yeah. Yeah, because Jade... No, yeah, because Briska didn't really talk to Jade, but she kept fucking with her by putting her to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love Riska, but she's a dick. <laughs> I know, right? That's why there's so many. I mean, so like, many. I get it, though, because, like, Jay didn't really have much going on, so if there was one person that she could, like, give whatever the... Narcolepsy, right? Yeah. Yeah. If there was anybody she could give narcolepsy to, I guess, like, that would be the best choice, because she doesn't, like, have to go to school or anything. It ended up working out for Jade, like... She yeah, got she got to like... go to Skya, so, like... If yeah. anything, if anything, it was a gift. <laughs> yeah. Vriska, Vriska has done nothing wrong. That is definitely what Vriska is going to say to Jade whenever Jade finds out that uh, Vriska is the one who'd been putting her to sleep all those years. Oh, that's assuming she ever finds out, which I'm yeah. sure she will. I just, I've been seeing a lot of um, uh, Jade Vriska um, Kismesis uh, posts. That's interesting. Yeah. So why i mean one because of that it's like what if jade finds out and then it just really? like jade calls people out like she seems all nice and everything but she does not put up with shit like she called car cut car cut out like all the time and um and they're just like what if jade finally does that to Vriska and Vriska falls in love <laughs> Oh, she would. Yes. She would too. Huh? As soon as someone's like bossy or punches her or just anything like that, like Briska loves it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's canon. I could get out the author's notes for book five right now. and But nah. Yeah. And I was like, that's cool. We'll save <laughs> exactly. that for like act five. I don't feel like getting up right now. That's fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... So that's where I'm at with that. But yeah, so there's so many things happening with the narration that that we don't know about that about yet. We we're just getting the concept now with the mayor being the one talking to John, and we don't know for how long. Um, and then that messing up everything. Yeah, and uh, and so yeah, that's super interesting, and we'll get definitely deeper into that in the next couple of acts. Um. Let's yeah. see. We get Nana Sprite. Yeah, we get Nana Sprite. Nana um, Sprite is sweet. Nana Sprite is so great. Just, she loves pranking and baking cakes. And if you can do both she at the does. same time. Yeah. Um, I really hate this, but I'm going to plug this fanfic that I started writing and need to write again, but it's been months. <laughs> but I wrote a scene where Dave ends up having to interact with Nana Sprite. Like uh, Dave and John get switched as to who gets Nana Sprite, and it's honestly the best thing. And I wish they interacted in canon, because just imagine like Dave trying huh. to play the cool guy, having to interact with someone who will prank him every step of the way, and will also like be a mom. Yes, 
like a motherly like, caring person who will dump a bucket of water on his head. But then give him like so many cookies. And like, as we all know, Dave is a mama's boy. Yeah. So that's just like one of billions of character interactions that never happened that should. Yeah. There are so many we characters in Homestuck. <laughs> And you know what? It's actually cruel that we didn't get to see Nana Sprite and Dave Sprite interact at all. Yes. Yeah, the Sprite that's, should have all been tragic. interacting. Yeah. Ugh. She would have so much motherly advice to give out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, Nana Sprite's great. Um... I think I was going to say something else before I said Nana Sprite, but then... I didn't. I Uh, talked about names right instead. There's a theory I came up with literally just right now. Okay. I like like how you refer to it. You're like, there's a theory that's like, it sounds like it's going to be like, oh, yeah, everybody knows about that. Like, oh, I saw it on Twitter. No, you just came up with it on the spot. Do tell. Uh, Yeah, but now that I'm saying it, I'm like, it doesn't seem legit. Because now I'm just remembering something that doesn't make it, but uh, that doesn't make it right because I just remembered something else. But I'm going to say right. it anyway because this is this okay. is dumbass times. Um, oh yeah, we are in the dumbass hours. Yeah, I was just thinking about how everything uh, like this is something that people have definitely like talked about before. I'm not going to say that I made it up right now, even though mm-hmm. I just did. Um, but like how all the sprites get uh, prototyped with dead things is really neat um hold on because... you thinking about it you're right yeah, yeah i had to i had to connect a dot but you're yeah. right and i didn't notice that tell me yeah. more. well so what i was gonna say which was stupid because then i thought about it for two more seconds but after i opened my mouth was just like what if that means beck is actually dead and then i remembered jade <laughs> Um, yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, wait a minute, Beck died? No, no, I didn't. Yeah, He's so dead. yeah. So anyway, Beck's, oh right. my god. Beck's a zombie. And then it's like, no, Jade gets prototype. Like dead Jade gets prototyped. So mm-hmm. anyway. Uh that reminds me, if you're a patron, you get access to bloopers. I don't have a whole lot of bloopers on there right now, but like if I say something stupid and I think it's funny, but not funny enough to keep in the episode, it goes up on Patreon. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, I have the bloopers sure. up now, right? Unless I mm-hmm. say something stupid like Tenabulge? Yeah, no, we're keeping that in. See, these episodes, <laughs> I don't care. The last act discussion, literally, um, my friend burped, like, hugely, and I kept that yes, in. Yes, I remember. I listened to it today, which is also yeah. why I brought up Tenabulges, because I kind of want that to be the right thing through every episode. I mean, that's fair. We should always talk about that. Tradition. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, whenever I have people on, it's like, I want everything to come out. Like, there's no bloopers. It's just me if I'm, like, I have an Obama blooper. I'll spoil it for you guys. I won't tell you what the blooper is, but I get stupid about Obama, and that's what um, the blooper is on Patreon. Speaking of Obama, mm-hmm. um. That was what I was thinking of earlier. I was like, oh, speaking of Dave and, like, white people or whatever, I was looking for something else, and I couldn't remember where it was or what it was. But when he's rapping about, like, the movies and – oh, I'm being loud. I'm sorry. Um, (laughs) When he's rapping about – my family's sleeping. When he's rapping about, like, um, John's shitty, like, apocalypse movies, he's, like, talking – He's, like, actually pointing out a really good point of, like, tokenism in media Mm -hmm. where, like, he keeps making jokes about, like, oh, Obama made it so that uh, nobody cares about, like, black presidents and movies anymore. But he was, like, pointing – he was, like, making a good point of, like, oh, in this, like, uh, epic action movie, uh, a black dude's in charge that's so progressive and crazy cool and it definitely makes up for the the fact that, like, the rest of the cast is white. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I was reading it and I thought it was cool because like Dave was a little woke. Yeah. Dave talks a lot of bullshit and like, he's not like unproblematic fave. 
by far. Oh yeah. But like definitely not. He knows shit. Like he says some good shit. Um mm-hmm. the just the more we get on with he it. He just says it through raps, so no one takes him seriously. I know. <laughs> he doesn't take himself seriously, and that's sad. I know. Sad Dave hours. Huh. <sighs> but uh That's like most hours. I know. That's all hours when Carcat isn't around, which will continue to be that way so until long. like the act where they meet. Which one do they do they meet in that conversation with uh like when John's there too? Is that where they met? Um Well, I guess they met when he was inviting them. When he was inviting him to that conversation. He was like, Hey, this ba- click this banner with shitty clip art and then Dave was like fuck you know my weakness I know I, I'm trying to think if they talk before then because like I don't think they do I mean that's definitely gay times where Carcat knows Dave enough for- he knew him instantly yeah he like he took one look at this motherfucker with like dumb stiller shades on and was like oh yeah I know how to get this guy I know I know it was basically love at first sight except Carcat was still obsessed with hating on John Oh, yeah. And one thing that's uh, one, like, visual thing that I love about Homestuck is that uh, when John and Dave are both, like, little kids, they have the shirts with, like, the card suits on them. And, like, John has a spade on his and Dave has a heart. And, like, that's foreshadowing, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. I didn't even think about that. Oh, great. Yeah. Kind of on me to, like, notice the like weird pointless symbolism stuff i mean it's good this is homestuck like that is yeah. the highest thing you can be doing everything's important except for that pony yeah that pony has no significance no, it's just there i want someone to prove me wrong i mean someone probably already has this is <laughs> i'm sure they have i want to know what the narrative significance of that pony is yeah we'll talk about it so much it'll just be its own episode one day it's like, yeah. we found out. This is what it is. Yeah. Um, I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we figure out what the hell that pony means, yeah. I'll be there. Yeah, it's fantastic. That'll be the day we figure out why the hell Mom Lalonde turns on that bronze vacuum in the middle of the night. Because she's drunk on mom culture and al- alcohol. <laughs> Drunk on mom culture. Oh, I want that as a t-shirt. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because she's a mess of a person. <laughs> yeah. How long have we been recording? Is that close oh. to an hour? Are we done yet? Frick, I have no idea. We can be done. I just Is there more to talk about? I don't want to miss something. Yeah, that's what I, I try to think of. That's why I just like ramble on forever. Um, mm-hmm. I don't want to miss things. I don't want to miss a thing. Um, Can't talk about, like, no, that's a different podcast. Are you sure? Well, I was going to, like, talk about Cal, but, like, more specifically, like, Lord English and, yeah, we can like, something I noticed. Either. Like, Lord English, I'm going to say it anyway. Lord English is basically, <laughs> like, a culmination of, like, how many dudes? How many dudes are in Lord English? Okay, that's that's a sentence. sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. There's, there's Hal, there's Caliborn, there's Gamzee, there's Equius, right? So it's four guys, right? Yep. Okay, that's more guys. <laughs> well, I guess three and a half because only half of Gamsey. But anyway, um, it's just like four guys who should definitely never be allowed to raise children. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that at work and I saw a picture of Cal in this book and it reminded me of that. Sorry, I'm in between thinking of one implication about four guys in Lord English and another implication <laughs> where they're like a bunch of kids stacked on top of each other with a trench coat. <laughs> a really green, like a green trench coat. Just four kids in a sarcophagus. Yes. So I'm on like both extremes of thinking of that right now. <laughs> and my brain is at war. 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll take you down the middle path, which is to think about the smart thing, which is like, like, uh, in all different variations of Lord English, you get like, um, like, uh, okay, so like when he's, uh, like Doc Scratch, you get mostly Hal's personality with all the like puppet mastery, like, oh, look, finally I get like a whole planet to like control mm-hmm. and, uh, shape to, uh, what I want it to be, and then a little bit of Caliborn where it's like, hey, 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 I have an idea. Let's impose like a bunch of like gender stuff. Yeah, let's make shit terrible. Um, but it's like that's mostly that's mostly Dirk stuff, right? Yeah. And then when it's Lord English, that's like just all of Caliborn's hopes and dreams. Yeah. But yeah. like we never get to see basically any part of Equius, and I'm like trying to like that's a that's something I want to figure out, and I don't know if it's just because, like, he's a Void player, but, like, he doesn't, like, his personality doesn't ever, like, come out, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there is an instance that is, but uh, he doesn't get weirdly sweaty or have... He doesn't. ...get strange cravings for milk. He's only there for his strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know? Yeah. I just am now just imagining like Lord English just awake in the middle of the night, having a craving for milk and trying not to give in. <laughs> yeah, he's only there for his strength and to make it so that Doc Scratch doesn't curse. Yeah. <laughs> Does Doc Scratch curse? I have no idea. I don't I don't know or care. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a thing he would do, but it seems like a thing he would incredibly do. Yeah. But I feel like you would say one curse word and it would be like like a PG thirteen movie. You're allowed Yeah, to and it'd be like the most badass line in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're definitely done talking about act two by now. We really are. <laughs> like we we've gone off to like completely different acts. Mm-hmm. Like Lord English isn't even the big bad yet. There isn't even a big bad yet. There's no there's no like there's no foreshadowing for Lord English besides Cal. Yeah. And how much is that foreshadowing or just like our dear friend Andrew just putting in a creepy yes. puppet? Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is me. I'm just gonna like take your podcast off the rails every time. That's good. That's what it's here for. It's good. You need a little bit of chaos here. I do. Um but yeah, so that's gonna be our podcast. I'll so I'm definitely gonna have Abby back on again to talk about stuff. Who knows what? Yeah, uh, I'll probably I'm, just like commandeer it again, you know? Yeah, yeah, she'll just let me know one day. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, hey, listen, <laughs> uh, uh, fucking interview room now, bring Cal. You can bring Cal, but like, I will never bring Cal. I guess, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so, um, I have a Patreon, I have a, uh, I say it's Ko-Fi. It's probably pronounced coffee. Um, and I know I say this every single time I bring up that website, but it's Ko-Fi in my head. Anyway, but they're both, uh, socially anxious dragon, all one word. Um, I have a Twitter, SA Dragon Tweets. I have a website, jacksdoeshomestuck.com, and you can get links to everything, including my Discord, um, and, like, everything else I have going on. And the bloopers. And the bloopers. Yeah, the bloopers are on Patreon. Currently only one blooper, yeah. but yeah, you get extra stuff for, for joining Patreon. Um, and I also have stuff about my other projects on there, just in case you're interested. And if you're not, it's on there anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, do you have anything you'd like to plug, Abby? Yeah. Last time I forgot to say my Twitter handle and it's uh, Space Arby's. Yeah. So that's my Twitter. Um, I'm going to do a thing soon. Oh. But like, you'll find out on my Twitter. Okay, well, that's exciting. I didn't know yeah. you were going to do a thing, so. I'm going to do a thing soon, and I'll tell you once we stop recording. Okay, because sounds I great. Because I end up not doing the thing, so. Anyway, now I definitely have to get rid of this podcast episode so I can go ahead and talk because I'm excited. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you also get episodes early. You would not have gotten this one early because we're recording it at the very last minute. But um, <laughs> if I have episodes early, um, then you get them early. There's another thing for Yeah, me. it's. Um, it's my fault you're not getting this one early because I had to do stuff like graduate. I know. Like, how dare Abby be so selfish know, and try to, right? like, 
graduate school and move on with her professional career and just <laughs> live a life. Yeah. Um, the nerd. <laughs> I know. But uh, yeah, this is it. So I will see you guys next week where we will be starting uh, Act 3. <laughs> <laughs>